In this tutorial in PhotoDirector 365, we're going to show you the second of two methods using the guided tools to remove the background image. We're going to click from the library to guide it, and it wants to make a copy. I say I'm fine with that. Now we're going to move under Improve Remove to Background Removal. In the previous tutorial, we looked at the brush and what you can do with a brush. This time we're going to click on the lasso. I want to show you the difference between these two tools. Now the lasso tool has some interesting characteristics to it. Uh, all I need to do is start clicking anywhere. We'll start without working on the man to show you how it works. I'm going to click and that, that now wherever I move the mouse, it will create a line and it will drop these little points, these little design points and I'm not clicking the mouse at all. If I want a, div uh, a point specifically, I will click the mouse and it will add one. We'll just draw something like a square. And you don't have to click back precisely on the beginning one when you're done. You simply click twice and it will fill it in. And then while it's still blue, you have the option of clicking on any one of these nodes and you can fine tune them and move them and change the shape exactly the way you want. In fact, you can click between the nodes with the left mouse button and you add another one of your own. You need to fine tune it just a little bit more. So that's how it works. Now, the thing I found a little bit awkward with it is when I click off of this, I get the shape of it, but now I can't edit any nodes anymore. It's done. I'm stuck with it. Or I press the escape key and it goes away. Now let's see how it works on the gentleman here. I'm just going to take the mouse and I'm not clicking at all right now. I'm just moving it around his hair and it does a pretty good intelligent job of following the outline between the gentleman and everything else. I'm going to click right here to drop a node for sure. Go to the lower right corner and do that again. Then another one by his jacket. Then I'll let it kind of figure itself out around as we go up the collar. And I'm going to drop one for sure under his chin. Make sure we have a point there. Let it go around his beard, around his face. The glasses are a bit challenging uh, because they have the background in them too, but we don't want to take a piece of them out. Then I'll click twice and that should end it. Now I can go in. Let's take my zoom tool here and I have to turn it off and I can move the node if I can click on it. But so I find it a little bit awkward to get it precise when you're zoomed in this way. But the good news is I don't have to. Let's go back to fit. And now I'm going to click to activate it. Double click anywhere. And we will say remove unselected area. Click apply. Now the bottom panel is active. Bottom panel gives me a brush to fine tune the edge. So if I see something I don't like or want to, want to modify, let's click again, go by his face and double check. Do I like this? Did I take a little of his face out? I have a brush, a positive and minus. I can click here. And if I add a little bit here, you notice it will add what used to be in the background. If I hold the Alt key down, I get a minus. And there I can draw the same way. And it will subtract. If I want to add a little bit here, I just add it to his beard. Oh, too much. So I hold the Alt key down again. And I can change it. Let's take the hand and move back to the back of his head. Here I think I want to make a change. I'm going to hold the Alt key down. We'll subtract this area a little bit. I got too much. I just let it go add. And you can't can't really tell by what it looks like when you're painting. Maybe I thought maybe I thought there's some hair here I might have cut off. So I'll turn my hand off and do here and see if we can add some. And again, if I do too much, all I need to do is hit the minus key. And we can make some of it go away. I can give them a haircut if I want. <laughs> so that's a way in which you can customize the way it looks. And uh, we'll go back to uh, full size. And when you're done, you click Save As. It wants you to save it under an old or current file name. I'm just going to add a bunch of numbers to this one. 
And again, it says it will be saved to the background removal gallery, which is a place where your photo composer can access this for this project or even future projects where you're trying to combine a, something you cut out of a photo without a background. I'll click on OK. And just to show you where that is, we're going to click on the back arrow. I'm going to go to Photo Composer. I'm going to click on Add Images from Background Removal Gallery. And here I have a couple I've done in this one. So it made a copy of both of these. And if I don't like them, I don't ever want to use them again, I click on the garbage can and it erases them. So I don't have them there that I need. them. But if I ever want to use this again with a different background with this guy in the foreground, I can use this tool. We'll have a different tutorial on all the ins and outs of the photo composer. But that's a very simple way using the guided area in which you can use the second method of removing a background in PhotoDirector 365.